Remember that when a story question on math looks really bad, we should look at the answer choices first. They oftentimes tell us things to care about. We don't need to understand every aspect of the story if only a few things are changing in the choices. So there are a couple of things I noticed. The, the biggest is that I need to know if x plus y, how this, how this relates, right? Is x plus y, is it going to be greater than or equal to 20? Is it going to be this 80 or is it going to be less than 20, right? So there's, there's a few changes there. So I would focus on that first. Um, I'm going to read the full story, but I'm, I'm paying attention to what do x and y mean and where does this 20 factor in? An elementary school teacher is ordering X workbooks and Y sets of flashcards for a math class. The teacher must order at least 20 items, but the total cost of the order must not be over $80. If the workbooks cost $3 each and the flashcards cost $4 per set, which the following systems in inequalities mo uh, models the situation. So already, right, if this is the number of workbooks and the number of flashcards and we need to order 20 items, I don't want to be multiplying the cost, right? So this 80 right here makes no sense the total number of workbooks plus the total number of flashcards is going to be 20 or some number related to the 20, not to the 80. That's the cost. So that gets rid of C. Now, at least means that it could be 21. It could be 22. It could be greater than 20, but it cannot be less. So just try to think of it that way, right? If I put 21 in here, 21 is in fact greater than 20. That makes sense. But if I did that down here, 21 is less than or equal to 20. No, it's not. So that gets rid of D. Now, focus on the next difference. The three and the four seem to be totally fine where they are. They're not changing, but I need to think about the symbol, right? Am I going to be less than 80 or, or greater than 80? So let's go to the 80. Let's see what they say. But the total cost of the order must not be over 80, meaning it has to be less than 80. So let's try 79, right? That's less than 80. So 79 is less than or equal to 80. Mm, that seems right. But 79 is greater than or equal to 80. No, it is not. So there you go, choice A. To me, this is an easy question. It's it's a little tedious because we gotta read, but like we're not solving anything, we're not doing any math, we're just reading about math. And and you can't get intimidated into quitting on something like this. This is if you want better than a I would say 650 on your test, you you have to be able to answer this confidently and quickly. Um it it's just more about reading and following those instructions and anything else. And so you got to know, I guess, what the inequalities sound like when we see them in sentences. But other than that, just remember, the choices give you information. The choice is basically the question. What's changing in those choices? Go look for that information in the story.